Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is day 7 of Vlogoween and we have been met with the Son of Pentacles. The good side of the Son of Pentacles is that he's loyal and determined. He's inventive and can be trusted wholeheartedly, but sometimes he becomes stubborn and persistent to a fault. This combined with his quiet nature results in his being hard to get to know and socially awkward at times. He commonly has one or two close friends rather than many. Definitely something I can relate to. Alright guys, so today we are going to be working with hagstones. Uh, if you don't know what those are, they are a rock that has a naturally occurring hole in them, typically done by water, but I'm sure there are other ways over time, wind, sand, that sort of thing. We're going to make two door hangers that are a little bit different, and a necklace. Uh, so your first step, obviously, is going to be to find hagstones. They're not that easy to find. Uh, it took me six years to lay eyes on one in New Mexico and we hiked for a year straight, like every weekend for a year straight. Uh, they are a lot easier to find here in Okinawa and from my research they're a lot easier to find on the coasts and uh, off of riverbeds and things like that. Anyway, so that's why I'm having such a good turnout here I guess. Uh, this one right here especially was good love that one. That one's the one we're going to turn into my necklace. Um, but yeah, if you just walk through um, a couple of beaches, especially if they have a lot of coral, like the ones here in Japan do, you can find a ton of these. Um, it's a lot of fun. I think it's very goblin core, you know, find your shiny things and bring them home and string them up on the wall. So happy Vlogoween day seven. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, we're going to start out doing the larger door hanging. Um, hagstones are for protection. Um, they're very lucky to find and especially in like old European cultures, uh, witchcraft and things like that, they are hung above your door or on your doorknob or um, sometimes worn as necklaces to ward off evil spirits uh, to keep the hag witch from stealing your children in the middle of the night you know stories and folklore like that i really love the way that they look because it's the best part of nature and you know getting to collect those things coming together uh, i also found a couple of shells like i'm showing you here and i thought they would work great too because they had naturally occurring holes in them uh, so this first one, we're just going to string them normally. Uh, this is like a cotton cord I'm going to use. Uh, as you see here, I've got some other thread and some beads and a couple of tools. You really don't need a whole lot for these as long as you have those very difficult to find hagstones. And I have seen them online. Um, they're also called made stones and a few other things. I'm sure you can find all sorts of ways to look them up. Alright, but we're gonna cut our cord and uh, make sure it's long enough that you can tie, you know, quite a few pieces and then also a loop at the end to be able to hang it on something. If I had like a she shed, I would probably have the walls covered in these since I can find them so easily here.
right, so that's that one made, and uh, I think it turned out really great. I love the moss on those green rocks. So this is a witch's stone or a wishing stone. Um, they are also difficult to find. I've only found one, this one here. This one was also in New Mexico. Uh, you often see them really like polished from tumbled being in rivers, things like that. Uh, I just wanted to show the difference because sometimes they get confused because hagstones are also sometimes called witch's stones. Um, so we're going to put this one together as my necklace. I found this specific one and the it just I love the way that the hole was placed in it and it just really spoke to me. So we're going to turn this one into a necklace today. And I'm going to add some lava beads. Lava beads are really great for grounding, anxiety. Of course, you can add essential oils to them because they're so porous. Um, I recommend adding them to all kinds of things. Bracelets, all of that. Uh, I used to have a strand that hung on my rearview mirror in my car to keep it smelling real nice too. Alright, we're just going to loop through it a few times to make it extra song strong since it's going to be hanging from my neck. And I'm sorry, most of this is off camera. I was having a really tough time with this string cooperating for some reason. But we'll get it together here in a second. Alright, and that's all done. I added the quartz crystal at the end because I love quartz and it goes in just about everything that I use in my everyday life, so it made some sense. Alright, and this is the one that I'm going to add to the trick or treat bag at the end of Logoween for the giveaway. So if you're interested in your own Hagstone, this one would be completely free if you just make sure that you like and comment on that vlog post whenever it happens. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, these are just some of the colored beads I'm going to add. They're an amethyst, uh, a sedolite. I'm fairly certain that is a venturine. Um, I will put all of that in the comments below if you guys are really interested. And then of course some lava beads for that as well. And this one's going to be a small door hanging or a wall hanging. I'm going to make the loop big enough that you could put it over top, a vase, whatever you want to put it on pretty much. It just won't be a necklace. Of course you are more than welcome to tear that apart and make it whatever you need it to be if you are the lucky one to receive it.
right, that's got all three of these made this evening. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, just to kind of recap, hagstones are a stone with a naturally occurring hole in them. Uh, they can be called fairy stones, Odin stones, holy stones, uh, adder stones even. They're, they're usually flint, but of course in this case we found some coral pieces and things too. Um, they have historically been used to break hexes and protect against bad witchcraft. Um, supposedly you can see fey creatures through their holes when you look through them. I did not know that before I started looking these up. Um, that wishing stone I just showed you, I wanted to make sure that you saw that again just to kind of see the difference because they get a lot, they get mixed up a lot, I feel like. Um, hagstones are generally associated with the moon and water. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense since that's typically where you find them is around the water and the moon, you know, has a lot of control over tides and things like that. But um, I just wanted to uh, share this little project with you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video. Um, we are on day eight tomorrow and I've had a lot of fun doing this. So let me know in the comments below how you guys are enjoying it. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye, guys.